Mabuhay! Kumusta? Welcome to Learning with Albine. I'm your Guru Albine. This is a special episode as we take a short break from grammar lessons and Tagalog practice. I usually come to you live here on YouTube, but because we want to meet our expectations, I'm compelled to produce a series of pre-arranged videos as the year 2022 starts. Happy New Year, by the way. If you're a regular viewer and waiting for the regular episodes, I'm sorry, but we'll get there when I'm ready. Or is this your first time in this channel? If you wish to see more of Tagalog language tutorials or general Tagalog practice, consider subscribing to my channel. And also hit the bell notification button so you won't miss the future new videos. Our session for today is to identify what types of Tagalog students are found in the world and even in the universe. Are you ready? Let's begin. What type of Tagalog student are you? Again, what type of Tagalog student are you? In Tagalog, anong klaseng estudyante ng Tagalog ka? Again, anong klaseng estudyante ng Tagalog ka? Group 1 You're the eyes and ears group. Again, group 1, the eyes and ears group. So, these students are passive. They are input-only students. And they are not interacting. Again, this is the group we call the eyes and ears group. In Tagalog, mata, tenga, na grupo ng estudyante. Again, mata at tenga na estudyante. Remember that mata at tenga na estudyante. With the eyes and ears type of student, my classroom feels like it's in a cemetery. I can tell if they exist or not. They are just like ghosts. There's no way for me to assess or monitor his or her progress. Are you this type of student? I hope not. So with this type of with the uh, with the group one type of student, you only achieve reading skills and perhaps some listening skills. Remember that with your if you are just a eyes eyes and ear ears group of a student, you only achieve reading skills and some listening is good. What, what is the solution? Or what can you do? How can you take part in uh, Tagalog learning if you are this type of student? So remember that we have a YouTube playlist or we have YouTube playlist at least two. Uh, don't forget or try to look up this playlist we call Conversational Tagalog. These are uh, I've done a lot of these uh, uh, episodes already, this type of contents, the conversational Tagalog. If you are returned viewers of mine, remember Rico and Mars and other people. It's really like a kind of my way of drama, dramati, dramatizing, dramatizing. Uh, um, our Tagalog practice, right? And also another important playlist that I would like you to return to is what we call Tagalog root words, affixes, and sentence construction. Go ahead, or maybe later, go ahead, find this playlist that I prepared for you, or yeah, I have presented for you already. All of many of the 
videos are done under these two playlists because I've been uh, here on YouTube for about two years now. Okay, so and remember my um, channel ID, we call it Learning with Albine. Uh, on top of that, I would suggest or I think it's really so essential that you would sign up with my official uh, patron tier on because I have already uh, set up uh, a new page. Uh, yes, baby, the next baby, the new baby in uh, Aralin World uh, community is the Patreon page. And remember, our Patreon link is uh, patreon.com slash Aralin World. Go ahead. Uh, I'm inviting you to check out my pet Patreon page. And, and uh, you can sign up for an official patron because uh, it is where you would be able to download my presentations here on YouTube. Now, group two, what do we want or what are these students under group two? Okay, we call it the eyes, the eyes, ears, and fingers group of students. Again, if you are one of these, I hope, are you? Are you one of these? Let's try or uh, please uh, understand yourself. Do you belong to eyes, ears, and fingers group of students? With this type of students, uh, you have little activity. Or if this is not you, he or she is just leaving comments on uh, on many of my uh, presentations and posts right on social media and especially here on YouTube uh, you could be uh, one of those students leaving uh, comments on my videos and uh, but these people are not speaking yes are you I hope you are not one of these with the uh, eyes ears and uh, fingers type of student again let's demonstrate that in tagalog how do we want to call that in tagalog mata tenga at mga daliri na estudyante again mata tenga mga daliri na estudyante or let's eliminate the word mga mata tenga at daliri na estudyante Okay, in short or in English, let's call it the EEF student. Okay, with the EEF type of student, I'm able to develop a good connection with him or her. And also, uh, this student is willing to share some information and experiences on his or her Tagalog practice. But if the interaction is always said in English, you don't belong in this uh, group of uh, student. Uh, you belong to group one. You yes. If uh, consider, let's. I'm not considering English kind of interaction. Uh, it should be a Tagalog interaction with me. If you are E E F student, no. English interaction but if you are interacting with me in English you belong to the previous group of students. I hope I make it clear for you. What do um, group or what do EEF students uh, achieve? That's the question. What do they achieve? achieve? Are you this type of student? What do you achieve if you are the uh, Mata, tenga, at daliri na estudyante. So, you can achieve some reading, listening, and writing. What is your learning preference if you are this type of student? Or what do you do if you, you return to me on, on, a, on a YouTube this way? What do you do? So, um, 
maybe you are one of those who come to me uh, on a live presentation because we are live once a week here on YouTube. Remember that? And maybe, yes, if you are not sure if you are this type of uh, student, I encourage you, block your calendar. Uh, live every friday but we are talking about eastern time so if you are not uh, if you don't belong to eastern time uh, i I'll, please uh, you may uh, do your part on uh, figuring out what time is it in your time zone right or in other words we call we say um, our live a session on YouTube happens every Saturday morning in Philippines and Australia. I don't know if it's uh, still uh, morning hours in Australia, maybe noontime or afternoon already. But in uh, it's as simple as Saturday in Philippines and Australia. Remember, we are live on YouTube. Um, every Friday only except this week I soon or later in a few weeks time I will be uh, going back live maybe because uh, I'm really trying to uh, experiment what really is a uh, better content for me or for us what is a good delivery is it the live session or is it the recorded ones like this right you so tell me I, I also wish to hear from you what are your preference on how i deliver my youtube lessons yes. also other than youtube videos or oh, yes uh, i encourage you also of course to join ah uh, yes more of a uh, um, invitation uh, to join my patreon page or to be a patron to my patreon uh, maybe you would be under the grow with albine tier yeah check it out grow with albine tier so that you are able to access general tagalog general tagalog practice multimedia uh, it, i should be able to define or uh, elaborate what general tagalog practice multimedia is uh, maybe uh, I will make separate video on this okay, okay what about group number three uh, uh, type three of student we call it the meet up group meet up group why do we want to call it the meet gr meet up group so these students are active yes and they are leaving comments and at the same time they are speaking okay let's understand further what i mean by that with the meet up type of student i feel so grateful of him or her he or she attends my free coaching calls with regards to free coaching calls uh, it's another uh, discussion so maybe i'm going to uh, produce another video about my free coaching call so stay tuned if you have never heard of it and you are uh, curious about free coaching calls one video for that right so maybe next week that, that will be about uh, that will be my discussion next week okay and I hope that I remember that, okay? Because sometimes I, I forget that, oh, I promise to deliver this kind of content until I forget it, okay? If, if ever I forget it, please remi remind me. <laughs> With this uh, group of student or type of student, the meetup group, uh, there is a chance to building a solid, solid connection. Uh, again, a chance to building a solid, solid connection. I want to say it right. With if you are the meetup group or if you are the meetup student, we have the chance to building solid connection. Or if it's already happening, so you've been you've been attending uh, at least uh, at least two or three or more uh, Saturday coaching calls. We already have built solid 
connection. Uh, there are lots of them already. I think and also I like to mention those people, maybe one video for those people who have uh, who have uh, those people that I've known from Tagalog coaching calls. And if you are one of them, I'm waiting for you. Please return to our Saturday coaching calls, group coaching calls. Remember, it's free, no fees asked. Libre po walang bayad. Okay. So if you are one of these people, um, I can evaluate your progress in Tagalog, provided that uh, you're not, provided that you're committing to attending regularly. Remember, so I can evaluate your progress in Tagalog, provided that you are attending regularly. And also, if you are attending to me on um, uh, Saturday coaching calls, um, you may or may not uh, attend another tutor. So this is the reality. I have no problem with my students attending other tutor. In fact, I encourage you to find also uh, other tutors, not just me. It's nice if you are a student in Tagalog, it's nice that you are able to find at least one or, or more than one uh, tutors or, or mentor in your Tagalog journey. I'm okay with that. And what, what are your learning preferences? Maybe you are joining boot camps and then yes, you find language partners and also you are acquiring or you are achieving the reading, reading, writing, listening and speaking skills the reading the writing the listening and speaking skills so we call it the r w l s skills in tagalog how do we want to say uh, r w l s skills okay the reading you call it pagbabasa reading pagbabasa how about writing pagsusulat writing pagsusulat listening listening pakikinig pakikinig and uh, speaking speaking we call it pagsasalita pagsasalita this type of student we call in tagalog ang grupo para sa pagbabasa pagsusulat, pakikinig, at pagsasalita. Remember that? Now, what do I suggest for you to enhance or to improve your Tagalog language? Uh, you can join our no-fee coaching calls. No-fee coaching calls. And again, uh, maybe this is already the detail. Uh, um, what? Uh, information on uh, f uh, no fee coaching calls so we call it saturday coaching calls if you are a, a member of my facebook group i always refer to this uh, activity as uh, saturday coaching calls saturday co coaching calls we have session one uh, of course you consider eastern time and it's at 10 10 in the morning 10 10 a.m eastern and then session two, also a Saturday, but it's uh, at uh, 4 10 p.m. Okay, Eastern. Again, session one, Saturday at 10 a.m. And session two, Saturday at 4 10 p.m. Eastern. Again, if you are not part, if your time zone is not Eastern, when I mean Eastern, it's the New York time zone or other cities um, close to New York, uh, go ahead, you can convert Eastern time zone into your own local time zone. Please do that and mark your calendar. Yes, there's much more for me to, to say about um, or much more information that I can 
I can share with you regarding these coaching calls, but yes, uh, it's definite. I'm going to make a separate video about Saturday coaching calls. And another thing that you would uh, be able to do in your Tagalog journey is sign up with my um, Patreon and then you go, you, maybe you would either choose a Grow with Albine tier or you may choose to to sign up with a VIP tier and check it out later when you get to my Patreon page. If, if you support me on Patreon, I will be um, uh, uploading recorded group coaching calls. Group number four, pang-apat na klase ng estudyante ka. Ikaw ang tinatawag kong premium group. You are the student I call the premium student. What are about you? Okay, so this type of student hires a tutor, spends some money and time, and also, of course, they have uh, improved listening, reading, speaking, and writing skill. If you are a premium student, you have you or you are working on or you are uh, way ahead of uh, as compared to other uh, students uh, you are ahead of them in terms of uh, r w l s skills again r w l s skills reading writing listening and speaking skills with a premium student it's a great honor to work with them with these people it's a great honor these people invest on his or her self-improvement these people values my time values my creations and also they learn tagalog with due diligence are you one of these comment down below or are you considering yes take your time if you are not con if you are still uh, uh, thinking about it be a premium student take your time and then if you are decided come contact me these people believes that learning a second language is a lifetime process they don't want to stop they never wanting to stop because a uh, pausing or stopping feels like going back to level zero yes if you kind of uh, stop the learning stop practicing or you pause a little bit after two weeks you pause it feels like it's difficult to return to speaking tagalog again in other words he or she sign up with a continuing tagalog language program again you will sign up with continuing tagalog language program with regards to continuing language program we have premium one-on-one -on -one programs of course if you are interested there's the link down in the description uh, simply remember uh, get a custom code or sometimes i write it like request for a custom code right. where do you belong do you belong in the first group the eyes and ears student are you the or are you on the second group uh, type of student are you the eyes ears and fingers student or third group the meetup guy or girl or are you the premium porenai or, or or maybe premium Porenoy, yes, premium porenoy or premium porenoy. Comment down below what type of Tagalog student are you? Yeah, it's important that you comment down below what type of student are you because it will help me prepare for many, many, many great lessons in the future. Come on, comment down below. And uh, to conclude this episode, let me tell you that you've identified the various types of students in Tagalog, specifically the students within Aralin World community. 
And also another thing, you've found the ways on how to access their Tagalog learning so they never stop their Tagalog. And reminder, if you wish to download presentations like this, be my patron on Patreon. So remember the link or the address patreon.com slash aralinworld Thank you so much for uh, joining me in this episode and uh, if you are, really this episode is meant for uh, my subscribers already because these people, the subscribers are the ones who are always uh, watching uh, my videos even my old videos i believe that you are one of those people who um who come or who get to my lessons right because i can see based on uh, uh youtube analytics that uh, my old videos are being watched yes my analytics uh, says that i'm always checking on my numbers and my my performance on youtube uh i am so grateful of my subscribers returned viewers you are doing good and uh, i understand that uh, uh learning with albine platform is a great help for you and I'm so inspired it gives me you people are my inspiration but if you are new in this channel it's your first time it's not too late you can start anywhere uh, that's another presentation or another um, clarification that I like to tell my audience uh, you can start anywhere you cannot be late there is no such thing as being late in learning a new language Yes, if you are uh, just starting, go ahead, uh, be a member, and uh, subscribe to this channel if you still want to know me better. There are lots of old videos, and I will be delivering more uh, videos, more inspirational messages, and of course, we focus on your learning Tagalog, so I am able to deliver you uh, lessons. Uh, sometimes lessons are short, sometimes lessons are long. But I would appreciate students who are really uh, listening and staying for longer what minutes or for many many minutes or at least an hour uh, listening to me, practicing their Tagalog. I appreciate you. Maraming salamat po. I'm sending love healing, protection, joy, your way, mabuhay, mag-ingat, magkita tayong muli.